Welcome back to the fourth and final look of the L'Oreal packaging for the Paradise Enchanted palette. And I will be doing further looks with this um, eyeshadow palette because I have a ton of different ideas. So stay tuned for those. But this is the Foolish Pleasure look. So to get started, we're going to prime our eyes with the AOA Studio Perfect Eyeshadow Primer. And I've set down some setting powder to catch fallout. We're using the Santee Pop Pastel Pencil at number 7. It's just a nude kind of secondary base that I'm going to use. So the eyeshadow has something to stick to. Now we're working with this look here and it's called Foolish Pleasure. This is what seems to be the hardest look on the palette and it's a halo eye and we're going to be picking up shade number two we want to apply that all over our eyelid like the back suggests this is a step that I personally probably wouldn't do if I was doing a halo eye but let's follow the directions anyways. So we're going to be taking shade number 8. Which is a really pretty orangey brown shade. And we're going to apply that in the crease also. And I'm going to kind of pat to build up the color. Not that these aren't pigmented. I have less uh, fallout. And uh, now we're just going to sweep that into the crease. And blend it almost to the brow bone. Next, we're taking shade number 12, which is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. And we're going to apply this in the inner corner and the outer corner. And in the description and directions of their look, they do not mention meeting them or marrying them in the middle for like a typical halo. But I totally did that because I think that would look weird if I didn't. So that's what they wanted you to do right there so i'm this is what i'm gonna do though for the halo high is i'm going to do like i would normally do this shade is so pretty it's like a brown has somewhat of a red um ish kind of peachy undertones of course and it's just so rich and beautiful so we're gonna blend that and i picked up more of shade number eight here to blend around the edges and I'm just going to reapply some more colors, blend some more, and then we're going to go in with shade number 5, which is a beautiful shimmery shade, by the way. And they want you to apply this to the middle or center of your eyelid. So the middle of your look, this is going to be your highlight spotlight shade. It's actually really pretty and glittery goodness. And shade number one I always use for my highlight. So that's what I am doing here. Such a beautiful shade to have in the palette. And know that you have a set designated highlighter. And you don't have to dig around your other palettes or anything to pick it up. Now it also suggests to put um, number 12 on your lower lash line. And smudge that in really well. I take it almost entirely uh, in. But then I leave the inner corner, inner tear duct open. So I can take shade number 5 and apply it as a kind of a highlight to kind of open up the eye a bit. Because halo eyes tend to close off your eyes, especially when you have to use darker shades. And of course we're going to tight line. And we are going to line that upper waterline as well with the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. We're also going to draw a very thin, just right at the base of our lashes, with the L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Eyeliner. I'm actually really digging this eyeliner. And of course we're using the L'Oreal Paradise Mascara. This mascara is the bomb, you guys. Once again, the worst thing I can say about it is that I hate the smell. <laughs> But I love the look it gives my lashes. And the lipstick I'm using is from Rimmel. And it is Airy Fairy. It is discontinued. But you can find similar shades in the line still. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Stay tuned for more L'Oreal tutorials. Hope you found it helpful. Um, subscribe. Ring the bell so you don't miss any other upcoming content from me.